Okay, so we have built a model of a 2050 Liverpool, what we think it will be like as a team, um, using uh, just building things. So, uh, yeah, we've got a VR video to showcase. The person in the headset right now is going to be able to look around and see around our model. So this is the video that the person is looking around right now. But we say some different time zone in the video, so it looks just a bit different. Uh, so, as you can see, this is the going to do a video, and it looks very interesting. Uh, follow down to me as you see people. Uh, up, up. It was filmed using a Samsung 360 camera, and um, yeah, anybody can um, watch it if you have a VR headset, or you can just use. So right now we're just showcasing um, the thing <laughs> that we built, which is Liverpool in uh, 2050. Is there anything else? Really, that feel I will slip right through my sleep. So right now you're looking at a um, well housing, and that is the museum of Liverpool where um, most of Liverpool's um, prized things so are. As a group, it was a team effort, and uh, we all contributed and made it really, really good. So yeah, uh, thank you. Can we have a round of applause for Alan? But, uh... <laughs> yeah, right, on to the next segment. So now we have um, a game which um, has been created by uh, people here in our group. 
just some technical difficulties. <laughs> And then from that, we all created different uh, projects and stories uh, based around the character. So, um, yeah, could we invite some people up um, to play the game? Um, okay, I'll see if you want to grab some people. Oh, miss. <laughs> we have three people. Let's get to the door. Okay, next, this is David Dean, my granddad. Hi. I think we all see my. Mars, right? Yep. 
Yes, that's correct. Is there a reason why they're on Mars? They take it over that and now they're going to Earth. That explains a lot. It's a good game. Right now, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this segment. Round of applause for everybody. of games. Um, so they have created their own games in the past and we've taken inspiration from them and created ours. So now they're going to show us and the audience, you, all of you, um, their game.
Okay, and next we have um, a short film created by some of the people in, um, well, this fat group, Prototype. Um, it's called Nikki's Great Adventure, or Nikki vs. the News. It was a short film created in Minecraft. Um, we created it in one day with only three people and um, only an hour to make it and film it. So we did pretty well for the amount of time we had. And because Khan has not mentioned it yet, three people who made this amazing short film were my wonderful colleague Khan and two of our other associates, Jude and McGrath, who is currently doing tech support. So right now, um, our protagonist Nikki is um, just watching the TV, and there is some um, the news is on the TV, and that is going to tell Nikki something very, very important. We're currently in Nikki's house. We are now in the newsroom. And since so not the many people to be able to read that on the cameras, um, the text said BBC News at 7 a.m. The Soviet Union has planted a nuke in the sewers. Evacuation will commence soon. For all of you who are being blocked by people's heads and can't read. So, uh, not to be rude, I just because I know it's very small on the screen, so being able to talk where everyone could. No, I mean putting the text at the top of the screen, so what? I must tell my neighbours. So right now, uh, Nikki is currently outside of her house and she's trying to find her neighbours. But she can't, because they've all evacuated. So she comes to the conclusion that she needs to stop the new. Nikki has also randomly changed hair colour, um, gender, and clothes. Face shape, eyes. Face shape, eyes, and a bunch of other things, according to one of the creators, due to a technical glitch. And you'd be mad at video games. Garbage. Why do you keep Because it's funny. It's not. Listen to me. I think the nukes are around here. <laughs> What's Stuart being stupid and breaking the sewer? Then he tries to jump over the wall during fail. God sound effects save them. I'm going ending Star Wars style. Thank you very much. Now I've just got a few questions for you folks. Nikki, um, can somebody please pause that? It's kind of sad. Okay, so there's a few questions for creators about your game. First off, why was the show? I mean, video, whatever. Okay, so first off, why was the sewer water blue? Is the sort of sewer water not be like brown and all, but because of the uh, oh, human stuff in it? Can't. Oh, it, it's a it, it's modern sewer water. It's it's in yes. the future. It's in 2050. Yes, so. everyone pees blue in 2050. And who's blue? Very good explanation. <laughs> But does that mean everyone has really bunny diarrhea because we have to change the conversation? Okay, right. So we're currently um, just getting the next segment ready. It is a beautiful animation by Jazz. Let's take it away, Jazz! Okay. You accidentally pressed the lead. Did you break it? You have to press the actual image of the 
ones that delete it from the playlist. What's been deleted? The, the video has got deleted, it's just removed from the playlist, so you just need to add it again. Fantastic. What can you do that? Terrible difficulties, these people. We'll be right back a bit. You just accidentally to leave a video we're about to play from our playlist. So now we've got to hunt it down. Someone from another universe fell through 
There's not much else that causes that type of flux or vortex energy. Another girl around the same age was a first and similar accent, but mixed with an American twang. With an American twang mixed in with it. Nikki opened her eyes and saw two girls who looked around 15 to 16. One had ankle length brown curly hair in a high ponytail, blue grey eyes and slightly tanned skin, while the other had navy blue curly hair a couple of inches past her shoulders with blue eyes flecked with violet and fairly pale skin and, uh, and pink cheeks. Who are you and why am I here? I'm Lily and this is Serafina and you're in another universe. The brunette was the one that spoke, and now that she was less out of it, Nikki could tell the girl had a Liverpool area, or Scouser accent specifically. What? How the hell did that happen? Why do they do always do that? <sighs> Honestly. Zena, be nice. Just because the ability to travel to other universes is something we've grown up with, and just an everyday taking for granted thing for us, doesn't mean it is in other universes, especially in the past. I mean, look at how old her clothes are. The brunette looked irritated but resigned at the brunette's words, as though this was a common occurrence for her. What do you mean my clothes are old? She got in all of her current outfit less than a year ago. That type of clothing was in style around 30 years ago for us, so we look at it like you look at clothing from the 80s and 90s. That was a blue net. Fina, the other girl, had called her. Okay, so how do I get home? She needs to find some quick jobs with good money if she wanted to go to a festival after all. Don't worry, Mum will just scan you to tell which universe you're from so we can send you back there. I'm Lily, by the way. The brunette, Lily, introduced. At least it wouldn't take too long to get back then. Though we probably should get Uncle John and Aunt Mary to take a look at you first. If you hit your head, you might have a concussion or some bruised ribs if you fell on them long. Lily really could talk fast, couldn't she? You coming or what? While she had been thinking, the two girls had started walking off. Fina hadn't been the one calling back to her. Yup, it might be a bit of a crazy situation, but the people here were nice enough. And um, that's as far as I got because we had time limits. Uh, who was a decent enough for you folks? And uh, now that is the end of our prototype live stream this year. I really hope you all enjoyed. Um, all right, we do have VR over here. So uh, now that it's finished, if any of the parents want to come up or just anybody in general uh, to try the VR, then you're welcome to. So yeah, uh, thanks for coming and we'll see you uh, next time.